All right, let's talk about uh, mother-in-laws. Mother-in-laws. Oh, my God. This conversation, you know, we never finish this conversation, right? Hmm. You know, we never finish this conversation. So, But there was some comments. Um, shout out to Chinye. Shout out to Natu. Shout out to Film Girl. Those are all my supporters. Some of my favorites on this platform. Thank you. I appreciate you all for your support. Always. All right. So let me see here. Let me see if I can find those comments. Or more. See conversation. I'm going to read. I just want to know. If you're here, you're not part of that conversation on the comment area. Let me know your thoughts as I read through their comments. Okay. Um, so it was basically Blessing CEO, right? And she was talking about matching energies with your mother-in-law. And I said, no, don't do that. You will hurt yourself in the process. All right? I said, oh, sir, if you're matching energy, you don't you don't you you haven't done proper assessment of the energy you're matching, you might hurt yourself. Okay. Just stay in your own lane and give 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 and don't pour from an empty cup meaning if you feel like you're not being served or a relationship is no longer serving you it's perfectly okay to excuse yourself and don't allow anybody to shame you to stay in a situation where you feel feelings feeling yeah feelings are valid where you feel like it's no longer serving you even if you like somebody said well you will regret it later said yes let me regret it later right now it's just as important as the next two weeks right let me back up first of all before i see what's going on but she suggested oh match energy like you don't know what energy you're matching you don't understand what you're matching first right and that's all i'm saying right but uh film girl at uh a point shout out to Ola Edo. i saw you earlier shout out to everybody that's here i appreciate you hit that like share subscribe turn on your notifications so you can chat with us in the chat okay all right, so let me read. I'm just going to read to you um, what the monster in law thing is all about. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Uh, let me let me do some real time magic here. Let's bring, uh, let's see. Uh, Man of Prestige. It was Blessing CEO, right? Yep, Blessing CEO. That auntie, uh, the relationship coach, Blessing CEO. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, let me see. Uh, Blessing CEO. Oh, I could just search. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. So she. I'm not gonna play the video. I think you guys already know what she said. Uh, but again, the idea of matching energy with people that you've deemed that they are not helpful for you. You don't want to be in a relationship with them. You want to hurt them back. There's a very good chance you will hurt yourself. Okay, it's an extremely good chance that you will hurt yourself. It's all I am saying. So I discourage the idea that, hey, match energies. It doesn't matter what we're talking about. I just always say, don't try to match energies. Uh, if you're going to at least do that, take the time to uh, assess the energy you're matching. Because if you don't do that, and if you take the time to see if there's energy you should match, there's a good chance you will start to feel like it's not worth it. Right? You never want to go down. To that level right right but maybe you feel like no it's too shushu sometimes you feel like no i should i should this person should collect and at that point at least you are making a, a very calculated move right but this is emotions so <laughs> it's usually like i was called out earlier on the on that show it's not you don't have time to be getting but that's the point we're making you aware that there's a high likelihood that you might just Anyway, so let me read uh, Film Girl's comment. Film Girl said, hmm, MOP, I really do appreciate your analysis on this matter, and you're right on some points. When I see some points, I'm like, uh-oh, here we go. I love it. I start doing my face like this. I love it. But I see some point, like, hey, hey. <laughs> that's what I look for, all right? I enjoy all of it, but I love it when, although I think you're too posh to understand the kind on women. She called me posh, right? <laughs> she called me posh. Okay, all right. To understand the kind of women mother-in-law blessing is talking about, they, these are not your regular run-in-the-mill moms that are educated and exposed. I think that was the point I was making. I said, you shouldn't be matching energy with these evil people. You don't know what you're matching energies with. Anyway, <laughs> blessing is referring to those rural, backward, myopic old women who think frustrating their daughter-in-law is a rite of passage. So, 
the, the one I already disagree that somebody just wake up typically typically right because you're saying there's so many of them and they just the goal today is to frustrate my daughter-in-law no 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 the fact that that's effectively what they did does not mean that's the intentions does not mean one is a means to an end one is that's exactly what they are aiming for your head right the idea that they're just aiming for you i disagree okay that you are a means to an end i agree sometimes not sometimes this is a territorial issue okay you're in their territory okay and sometimes they feel some type of way who is this girl well, I'm not to go over. and that's all it takes and you collect and then of course it makes sense that you see it as they're just coming for me maybe not you maybe anybody that will occupy that position maybe that position is like a president right who somebody said no you should always bend down to the president somebody said no i can't bend down to this guy it's not about the guy it's the office that office you're occupying that's how powerful it is your wife right when you talk about mother of you know um boy child right yeah, that's a lot that goes into that right let's continue blessing is referring to those rural you know they experienced it as young wives so they must gift the daughter-in-law with the experience all right so it's the motive that we're disagreeing on i'm never arguing that these things exist they exist but it's very important that you understand the motive so that you don't move wrongly so you don't hurt yourself in attempt to retaliate that's all i'm saying right when you don't when you don't take time to understand motive right take the time to understand motive unless somebody is harming you physically right if we're talking about emotional matters Take the time to understand motive, right? Take some time, okay? Take some time. Make sure that you have enough to take some time. You can back off physically, okay? If that's what's required. But take some time to understand the motives before, before you make life decisions, okay? Because uh, the quality of the decision you make is going to be a function of you understanding the motive. All right? On this matter, I have observed unmerited hatred and harsh treatment of some female relatives around me. We agree on that. Their mother-in-law are so jealous of the wife because she feels, I like the word feel, she feels she's taking her son's attention. These are the real deal, right? Well, is she thinking that out loud or is just the behavior? She's not thinking it through like that. You get to think it through because you might have been on the receiving end or you've seen people being on the receiving end of it. She's not thinking, you're giving her too much credit, okay? You can actually control that person like a puppet if you understand the full motive, right? You can control them, okay? But if you are, if you don't understand the full motive, they will control you, right? They will control you long after they stopped <laughs> showing you Shige. They will still be controlling you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You get it. Anybody get what I'm saying? Do you get it? Anybody, anyone, one, put a one in the chat if you get it. Put a one in the chat if you get it. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about All it. Right. All right, let's just continue. Let's, let's continue. <laughs> I'm still reading, okay? This is a person, um, um, film girl, one of my supporters here, one of our valued listeners. Uh, let's see here. So she says, the experience that's okay. On this matter, okay, I already read that. Attention. Remember, most of these old women trauma bonded with their sons due to abusive marriages that's a fact okay so hurt people hurt people when we say hurt people hurt people they're not necessarily thinking it through like i'm just going to go hurt people no we're saying that's what ends up happening when people don't pay attention to the deeply rooted issues that's what happens doesn't mean that's the intention that's why i keep unfortunately i know a lot of people don't like that that's why i keep putting intentions where it belongs intentions especially good intentions particularly good intentions are overrated Overrated. Overrated. Actually, both of them. Good and bad intentions. You need to be wiser beyond intentions. You should have good intention because you're a good person, remember? You should have good intention. But your expectations around the results you create because you have good intentions should be managed. Should be managed. Don't turn it off because it's impossible anyway. But manage it. Their husband never lived or showed them kindness, so they transferred it all to their kids. You know how long of a time that is for them to be that intentional? They're not that intentional, <laughs> okay? These are just hurt people hurting people. And you can control them like a puppet if you understand the motives. 
Some have very, very unhealthy love bonds with their sons. I witnessed some of my aunts, biological and in-laws, bent over so much to please their mother-in-law. And you already know what I said about that. You should not be pleasing people. Don't do anything just because you want to please. Because it's to backfire as well. You're pouring from an empty cup. Okay, the, the more the more they sacrifice, the more the mother-in-law accused them of spending all their son's money. Wait, wait. The more they sacrifice, the more the mother-in-law accused them of spending all their son's money. Uh, the son is coming, is flashing in my face, like holding people accountable. I'm like, son, where's the son when all of this is happening? But that's not the topic. Let's keep going. <laughs> and some other films see excuse. MOP. The attacks are not subtle. You will know this person dislikes the son's wife. They don't hide it. If it's this bad, I have to look at the son. I have to look at the son. Okay? That person should not be getting married. That person should not be in a marriage. They're not ready. They're not prepared. Okay? But in this case, if a woman is the one who is bringing this to me and said, this is what I'm going through, I'm going to have to get to the bottom of why they... Why they how did they process that it's okay to stay in such a situation? I, I want to know because they might know something I don't know. I want to hear them out. Like, why are you in that situation? Right? Because they described to me a completely evil situation. I want to know. I'm curious. How did you comprehend that? In spite of this picture you painted, you painted this picture for me. How did you... How are you able to settle in this? Well, I'm not settling. So what do you think you should do? Because I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you to do. Hey, Roro. Right? <clears throat> they don't hide it. Some of these mother-in-laws went as far as physically harming their daughter-in-law. Some have been abortion. Some have given abortion pills and food to ensure she doesn't give birth to a child. Oh, um, uh, One I know arranged for the daughter-in-law to be beaten um, mercilessly and hospitalized by thugs. For God, inter but God intervened. Let me not start on the jazz and juju aspect. Listen, <laughs> I already saw it coming. But with that being said, I know many uneducated mothers that are loving and kind, but the mad ones are matching them 50-50. Nollywood depiction of such women is very spot on. I have observed all forms of uh, extremes, I guess, extremes, played out on TV. If a wife is extremely unlucky, her unrefined myopic minded son-in-laws will join the mother-in-law to frustrate the new wife sometimes they hate you for being from another tribe or religion or something silly right so all these things exist i don't disagree with that right women usually swap such stories around to equip ourselves with information but it can be scary can you imagine one of my overly assertive bad-mannered aunt boasting that any woman that will marry her son must live with her for a month so that she can train her how to care for her son that lived abroad here yeah. ladies 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 i know you want to advocate for men directly indirect subtly subconsciously do you realize how much enabling you're giving this man with this statement where is the man oh my god you see a blaming man where is the man in this equation? Somebody help me. Where is the man in this equation now? Right? You as a man, you are good. Unless you subscribe to it, right? And then I have to look at you and say, this is the person you married. You're not okay with that? Okay, do the needful. It's not the end of the world. You can tell me all the extreme stories there is. They all exist. I always leave room in my rhetoric that the worst case scenarios exist. I do always tell you they are the minority because if it wasn't minority, this would be a war zone. But they do exist. But I'm asking you, where's the man? Where's the man? What is he saying about this situation? Right? So we're back to square one of the conversation now it's a question that you might not have answers to but somebody need to help you with answering to that question like where's the man because a solid competent man his mother yield to him his mother seeks leadership from him not the other way around 
Shout out to my mother. She asked me yesterday. She said, she said to me yesterday that you said I was gonna come on the show. You didn't. I was like, I'm gonna see her in a few after the show. They will set a date to bring mommy on the show. <laughs> they yield to you if you are a competent man, not the other way around. So why would my mother be in my territory talking about oh, she gotta live with me? Like, what? So when you when you when you when you say this. It's hard for me to not see that you're making the sun some kind of object like a firewood who has no say in this situation. The only part I don't agree with blessing is matching energy. Just respect and avoid them if you can. Don't try to impress them like MOP said. So I think ultimately you agreed with me, but you're painting the picture of the extreme. And I know many people don't like that. I have to look at you what are you gonna do about this extreme painting that you've painted for me right i'm not blaming you and i can't blame the person that hasn't told me the side of the, their side of the story right i can do my analysis but i can't i don't know the fact remains i don't know in fact the one that you're telling with your own mouth i still don't know because i wasn't there right but i can do an analysis i can tell you what i feel about these issues but anyway i guess they exchange and they, you know, say, what do you think? I saw it in the chat, you know, and Chinye came here and said, Chinye, uh, Chinye said, film girl, I actually think that Chinye say one in the chat. Let me see you say she won. Okay. She already said something. That would be great to have her. Okay. All right. She's here. Chinye said, I actually think that MOP understands how intensely wicked some mother-in-law can be because it spans across Nigeria, not just in Igbo land. Exactly. Oh, by the way, I have personal experiences. The only difference is you might think that situation is a different motive. I think it's a different motive. I think a lot of people are not as calculated as you're giving them credit. You can control these people like puppets if you stop thinking that they must just be wicked. Okay? You can control them. But if you think they are wicked, it makes sense to me that you overreact. It just makes sense. That's just logical. If this person is being wicked to me, oh, sorry, I didn't mean overreact, that you will react. With your emotions sorry sorry i didn't mean overreact because i don't know what you're reacting to i can't measure your reaction but you will reaction from your emotions and that's not a good move that's never a good move emotional intelligence is not the same thing as reacting with your emotions those are two different things they're almost polar opposite okay so she says i do agree that evil usually stands out more well, for obvious reasons because there's the sensational stories right I do agree with MOP. It's not a good advice to say that no am I, uh, no mother-in-law loves you, right? Yeah, yeah, no mother-in-law loves you. That's extreme. Like, what? That doesn't make sense. Uh, they said no. I didn't say some don't love you. Some don't love you. You're right. Remember, everything is possible, right? But no mother-in-law loves you? Is anybody saying that and they don't see that it's dangerous to say that? You might want to watch uh, uh, the 20% the, the dangerous part of what they Because the reason why you can relate with them is because 80% of what they're saying is truth. You've seen this event. But there's something very small. It might be 5%, 3%. They're saying something very small that are very, very dangerous. That you internalize subconsciously and you're going to use it as a tool. Right? According to this chick... It will make young girls to go into marriage to anticipate that their mother-in-law hates them. That's all I'm saying, Chinye. That's exactly what I'm saying. That dangerous little thing that she's silently saying, right? Yes, there are evil mother-in-laws and sister-in-laws that go to the extreme of hating their new wife by going the diabolic route. But there are a majority of mother-in-law out there we don't go to the extreme. They don't mean to go to the extreme, but they still kind of show the behavior. They show that's a little surface of it. And because you've been listening to these worst, terrible stories, you're like, I knew it. I knew that I made the wrong move. I shouldn't have, I should have found somebody who does not have a mother. People are saying it. They mean it on this social media. They are saying things like, find a man who doesn't have a mother anymore. They are saying it. Are you, are you not aware? Are you not paying attention? They are. It's because of all this most popular stories the extreme of stories right i'm just saying remember all of you don't respond to anything that's not extreme remember that as just human nature if it's not negative to an extreme you don't respond i see like you don't click you don't share you don't subscribe 
That's the reality. It is what it is. Until you don't collect shege that is so deep and you're like, ah, okay, I think I might need some help from uh, from the one that's not chasing clout with every every word, right? And by the way, let's be clear, I do chase clout. <laughs> um, hating their new wife by going the diabolic route, but there are majority of mother-in-law out there who don't go to the extreme. Daughter-in-law should come into the marriage being respectful but create boundaries when in-laws begin to disrespect her for no reason. Yep. Yep. But that those boundaries, they are better off, they are more sustainable when they are coming with the help of your husband. Okay? So if you have a situation of a, a incompetent man, you need to address that because your boundaries is not going to it's not sustainable. That's his mother. What are you going to do with your own boundaries? Right? Hopefully her husband will be one of those men. She's thinking about what I'm thinking. <laughs> One of those men that will put his foot down and set boundaries to ensure that this wife and family respect one another. However, if it comes to the ones that are weak, when it comes to their family, it will create a huge problem. Exactly. I was like, see content. I'll be analyzing this further today. Have a blessed day, ladies. And I hope you guys had a blessing. That was this morning. And Natu came. I didn't read the Natu's one at all. But I was like, I'll just wait. Natu said, Natu, where are you? Are you here at all by any chance? I have a friend whose mother-in-law did not come to her wedding. Ha! <laughs> what do I say about eloping? Anybody knows what I say about eloping here? The idea that people elope. You remember the story that I covered, the Prince Harry? People that elope, right? Yeah, if you have choices, I don't, I don't support that, you know. Shout out to Natsu with all three badges on her name. I have a friend. My husband's immediate younger sister is like this. You can never do right by her. Hobby said he has never had a girlfriend that she liked. And like I said on the show, I blocked everything about her and only talk to her when we see she cannot. That's it. That's it. You know, um, you put these people on a pedestal, they fall off anyway. So stop putting them on a pedestal, right? If they're in your space, uh, you need to have a conversation with your husband in terms of how you feel. Focus on how you feel. Own it. Focus on how you feel. Maybe you can get some clarity, right? Uh, Film Girl says, My sister, talking to Nata, My sister, I don't know what powers govern this kind of women. For them to burn in pure hatred for years, they know the tire. See the question I'm asking? This is the same thing I said earlier. You know how much, what it takes for someone to nurse, right? It can only be emotional. Hurt people hurt people. It can only be at emotional level. It's not, oh, I'm just going to be evil and psychopath and wait for 25 years when my son, my, my daughter-in-law gets here and I'll show them Shege. That's basically the story that you guys are narrating more than half the time. And I'm saying, no, you're giving them too much credit. You can control these people like puppet if you understand that. All of these actions are driven by emotions, things like jealousy, things like you are in my territory, things that, does that mean you should appease them? No, you should appease them. You should understand the power of patience, process, time, and make sure that there's no division between you and your husband. Because if there's division between you and your husband, the devil will use that woman to go through that angle. Okay? Just so you know. Okay? And in all of it, in all of it, when we finish all of this story, you will still be right. Well, I, 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 you're right. All right. You'll still be right. But the results you're looking for, you'll be far from it. Okay. All right. So, lady, top notch. Hello. Good to see you. Before I met my husband, I intentionally turned a guy down because I know exactly who his mother is. Both boys, boy to mom. Hey, I just said it. Now, if you see, I didn't say you should see fire run into it. I never said that. Well, I'm talking precisely to the people that this will come up to them from a blind spot. I think most mothers, right? Most mother-in-laws will be deemed, not most, all of them will be deemed mother-in-law at some point. And how they respond to that is everything, okay? It would be easy if everybody can see it up front. Sometimes you're already inside of a five, six, seven year marriage before you start to feel that way. For us, it was eight years before I even had an idea that she felt any type of way. All right, so do you think it's as easy as just turn it down? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. So anyway, here's the point. The point is, take the time. 
to process what's going on at an emotional level, to see what the motives are, right? Uh, just do a quick assessment. Quick assessment. Let's keep it black and white. Is this person being wicked, or this is a weakness, right? Weakness doesn't mean that they are exonerated and there's no consequences. It just means you don't give them too much credit. Once you realize there's a weakness, you can actually control them like puppets. But if it's wickedness, there's only one thing you should do with wicked people. You should remove yourself from anything that looks like their world. And if you're not removing yourself, if it's not that simple for you, there's a good chance that you don't really believe it's wickedness and you're still trying to justify the BS, which is that you must be a bad person to do bad stuff. It's just not true, okay? It's the same topic. You don't have to be a bad person to do bad stuff. It's the same topic, literally, okay? Literally. Do me a favor, hit that like button hit that like button let's move on to the next one because we are kind of running out of time we only have like two three topics and then it's taking the whole time i don't understand but anyway i will be right back <laughs>